Well, the odometer has reached a point. Um, so at some point in the next couple of years, we have to make a change. And the truth is that I could stay longer. Uh, the board uh, knows me, and because I'm a known quantity and we have worked together well, I could stay. But it just seemed like this was the right moment. But, yeah, it's a big deal. I've been in the business since 63, and it's the only thing I've done, and I obviously love it. Um, and I don't tire of the fight at all. What's, what's been amazing about the AP for 165 years is that the mission has never changed, and the success is still based on access. <laughs> Access to North Korea is the latest in a, a series of steps that have occurred throughout AP history. And the fight is to get enough revenue in to maintain that footprint. The challenge for anybody running a media company these days can be described in one word, and it's revenue. Uh, finding the new products that keep you relevant, that drive new types of revenue, is absolutely the challenge. The power of journalism is still practiced and unleashed here as in no other place. And so it's, it's about the journalism, and it's always about the journalism. All these other toys that we have and the fancy new cameras, the ability to move things quickly, that's a lot of fun. But it's about what journalists do. The toughest moment was meeting Emilio's plane at uh, Baltimore Airport when he had had part of his leg blown off in Afghanistan. We were all feeling terrible, but as they rolled him down on the gurney, he was shooting pictures. And, and how inspirational that was, because I knew the message that he was giving to the rest of us, which was, okay, this may be awful, but we have a job to do. Nothing was going to stop him. And the message I took back was, nothing should ever stop the AP.